The Solar Decathlon is an international competition run by the U.S. Department of Energy and the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. It consists of 20 university teams from around the world designing and building 800 square foot houses that are powered exclusively by the sun. So the real purpose of this competition is to try and, through um, various forms of architecture and engineering, try and reduce the cost of that power so that it's more affordable and uh, more appealing to consumers. Well, first the house is built on a um, mobile home chassis, and this allows us to just drive onto the mall, very quickly be able to set up. We don't have to have any cranes. Uh, so that was important to get that made, and then the floor goes in. The insulation in our, in our floor is a um, bio-based uh, spray foam, and it uses uh, soybean oil to replace some of the polyurethane that's in typical um, spray and foam applications. And then the steel columns and beams uh, were welded here at Georgia Tech, and then after you have that, the skin goes on. So what you're seeing is the actual solar panel and at the same time it's doubling as the cladding for the house. Basically what we're trying to do is um, bring in emerging technologies and materials and use them to embrace the solar power aspect of the house so it's not just solar panels on a sloped roof. We're really trying to integrate that technology uh, with uh, the way that people live their lives. Conduits for the electrical systems uh, go in through the walls. You can start installing the appliances, uh, all the mechanical systems get, get put in once you have the walls in. Uh, and then uh, finally the roof, uh, we're getting the PV in now. What we've done is we've used the technology that we have here at the college and we've turned this into, you can basically begin to see the floor muck out of uh, what this wall partitioning system will be inside the house and it will be the defining feature. I think many of the advances uh, that are demonstrated in this house will uh, come to the mainstream and we'll have to come to the mainstream if we're going to, to save the energy uh, that we promised to. Oh, here. Here, that work. So far, the hardest part was putting together the structure. Um, there was a, a lot of, just a, an insane amount of screw holes that needed to be drilled through, you know, solid maple, and lining those all up with the steel. You know, we're talking thousands of holes that all need to match up. Um, I'm just connecting this box right here to feed um, wires up through here. It's to um, trigger uh, this some sprinklers that are gonna cool the, uh, the solar panels. So they'll be triggered every time the panels get too hot because when the pan panels are too hot, the efficiency is really low to get electricity. So um, the sprinklers come on and, and cool down the system so it can work you know, with better efficiency. The interdisciplinary nature of the, is kind of part of the competition. You, know, you can't build this house without, without a uh, strong collaboration between the architecture and engineering sides of uh, you know, education. And that's something that we really don't get uh, too often in architecture school. Uh, so that, that's what really brings a unique experience you know, to the student's perspective. I mean, 35% of the energy consumed in the United States is consumed in buildings. And so uh, it's important for us to uh, develop technologies to save that energy because energy that's saved is never used, it never produces CO2, uh, does not uh, contribute to climate change. And so everything that we do here is about making buildings more energy efficient and smarter. To watch a design you basically help birth uh, come to fruition is it's just an incredible feeling. It's, you know, your teachers talk about it in design school, but it's not something you can ever really fully wrap your head around. I think we're going to do pretty well. I don't know. I, mean, I, uh, I think that we've got a good shot, but it's, um, you know, there's a lot of good schools involved, and at the same time, uh, you, know, you, you really can't anticipate a lot of problems until they happen, so hopefully we don't run into too many, but I know that um, you know, we've got a, a, a good chance at doing well.